Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up a product rating table with uh, one through five stars for each of the uh, products that you have on your list. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to scroll over to the far right, just someplace outside of the active sheet. And what I'll do is I'm going to type in a one here and then I'm going to type a two. And then from there I'm just going to drag that down to five. So you'll see I've done that using the quick fill or the autofill. Now that I've done that, I'm going to head back over to my area. I've selected and set up a small column here where the user can select a number between one and five. And what I'll do is head over to data validation under the data tab on the quick access ribbon. We're going to go data validation. We're going to select list from the options menu. And then I'll select this little cell option. So we'll head over now to the right where we set up those numbers the sequence of numbers and I'm going to select all five of those cells click that and then we're going to hit OK so now what you'll see is we have data validation set up so basically we have all of the characters available to us uh, between one and five so now that we've done that now we want to add the star level uh, or display that shows the stars using the wingding font so the first thing that we're gonna to have to do for that is we're going to use the repeat function, but we want to figure out what uh, a star is in uh, Wingding. So what we need to do is head over to Insert. We're going to go to Symbol, and I'm simply going to add the star symbol into this cell. So we'll head down, we'll select that star. I'm going to go Insert, Close. And then what we can do is you can see up in the formula bar that we have this character. So what I'm going to do is copy that and then we're going to use the repeat function to do this. So we'll say equals REPT and we'll open our brackets and the text is going to be that exact character but make sure it's in quotations. So I just pasted that character in between two quotations. I'm going to hit comma and then I'm going to select the value 3 or C3, um, the cell C3 but the value is 3. I'm going to close that bracket and I'm going to hit enter and right now you'll see that it shows up as 3 of those characters that I just put in. But the interesting thing is, is if we select this now and I go back to the home tab, we're going to go to Wingdings font or Wingding font. Scroll all the way down, Wingdings, and you'll see that that has now become stars. So we're just going to now copy this formula and I'll right click and we'll just use this formula option for paste. So now nothing is showing up obviously because we haven't selected the star level. If I select four, it's still showing up the same way. So we're going to want to also change the font on this over to Wingding. So once we've selected that, you'll see that that is also updated. And if we hit five, you'll see that five star shows up. Now, if we want to change the color, of course, of the font, we're just going to head over to here and let's just select a goldy font like that. And there you have it. So now let's select something similar here and you'll see that that's working too now. Let's just put everything over like that. Okay. So now that is all you need to do to build a quick product rating table. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.